I'm really pleased about the success that we've had with Halo. It covers a lot of different bases for me, uh, both uh, the fact that we've had a very good return on the effort and the time and the money that we've put into the venture, but more importantly because I think we've had a great return on some of the uh, less tangible things we wanted. Uh, it's helped us to get very close to the low carbon mobility business, it's brought us into very close contact with the electric vehicle manufacturers and also the municipalities and others that have need of low carbon vehicles, so it's been great. The investment program at Arup has got a long history and, and, and a very good one too. Uh, because we are uh, essentially employee owned, we can of course do what we choose uh, with the money that we make each year. And we choose to put some of it into investing for the future. And I, I think that's a key difference between Arup and, and a lot of other companies. We do quite genuinely take five, ten year view of the future. The background to our involvement goes back some way now. Uh, we were asked uh, initially to appraise the technology. Uh, it was part of an industrial um, uh, exhibition that was being put on by the Auckland University team. Uh, and we were asked as professional people in the field of interest to come and give a view. Uh, we were so interested in what we saw that we then pursued discussions with them and the activity in the event lent, uh, led to us setting up a company with the university. So it was quite a, a, a chance meeting in the first place. In our view, being able to do it wirelessly tra transforms the picture. It makes it much more convenient for the user. It takes away all of the ugly street furniture associated with posts and cables at the curbside. And it really brings the electric car proposition a step closer to being something that people can feel comfortable with in our cities. So we saw that as being uh, an enabling technology that could make a real difference to bringing electric cars to the real uh, world and that's why we wanted to become involved. It's an opportunity for Arup to be engaged in something which opens the door to something really new and exciting. Um, as the uh, third investor, early investor, came along, Trans-Tasman uh, Development Fund, uh, as they came along, uh, they put a bit more money in, but we always knew that we would have to get some serious money after about a year of operation. And that meant that from about May of 2011, we were out on the road looking for the next round of investors. But it took us by surprise when one of those investors said that they didn't want to invest in the company, but they simply wanted to purchase it. Uh, and that took us down a route that we weren't really uh, expecting. It meant that we'd achieved in a space of one year what it, we thought it might take four or five years to get to.